So on the topic of test um, isolation in Cypress, let's take a really simple example. I'm here on the Lambda test playground. I logged in with uh, uh, an account and I have two tests. One test checks the edit um, that edit your account information is there and the other one checks or clicks on view order history and checks that order history here is present. So here's the code for that. So I first log in, then enter this email address and then the password to get 1 million subs. Yeah, one can dream. And then we click on the login button and then we do the check. Now, my question to you is, will both of these tests pass or will they fail? Well, let's have a look. So in Cypress, Cypress 12, let's just run those tests in Chrome. And our tests are right here in the raster.ci.js file. And let's see what happens when we run our tests. So the login seems to work and also the check. And the second test fails. Now, of course, you might ask why? Well, the answer is pretty simple because in the second test, we are not logged in anymore. The second test is an independent test in Cyprus. So um, you cannot continue from this test right here up to this test. One way of dealing with this is to add a before each block. And in the before each block to add the, put it like this, so to add the visiting part, entering the credentials and logging in. Now, let's see if this helps. We run the test again. And both tests passed. Now, if you do not want to do that, and to be honest, I do recommend that you keep your tests isolated, but that's only my opinion. There is a way to make your tests um, well, not isolated. And that is if you go to the Cypress config JSON, so which should be in your project here, you just need to enter under end to end test isolation and put that to false. We save this. Now, going back to our raster part, let's take this part right here and put it back here. We remove the before each, we save it, we go back. Let's rerun everything. Now, this one actually failed. This one actually failed because I should have closed this one and run it everything from here because uh, it came back from a state where we were actually logged in. So, do again, raster. As you saw before, you can like and subscribe if you want. So let's see, we have the login. In the second test, we are already logged in. And if we have a look, we did not perform the login steps again. Now, for more information or for um, another view of test isolation in Cyprus, I will, I will put a link in the description to the Cyprus blog where there's a full article which covers some of the parts which I presented, but it shows how to use test isolation as a best practice. As always, thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. So like, subscribe and see you then. Bye bye.